Our Sheriff's Honor Guard is here this week to honor our peace officers that were, have fallen in the line of duty. We're here up in Sacramento. Right now, we're guarding the memorial wreath, which is right, right behind me. And I'm standing with one of the representatives from Ventura County Sheriff's Department, which they lost an officer last year. The word noble has been thrown around. And it's true. This is a noble profession. We run towards danger. We sacrifice everything so people can sleep safely at night. It's really important for us to support them and for us to come over here and to pay tribute and honor them because they've they made that, they paid the ultimate sacrifice and we're here to just honor the families and just to be supportive of them too. I'm extremely proud of the Honor Guard with our department. They put in a tremendous amount of work into making sure that they present in a very professional way. What it means for me to be here is to represent myself, the department, and the past and future of veterans of law enforcement. We are going to Washington, D.C. for the National Peace Officer Memorial. Our Honor Guard is actually going to be doing an Honor Guard competition, and we're dedicating that to Jeremiah McKay, who was killed in the line of duty. There's four people that are going to be driving out, and then seven of our other team members are going to be flying out to D.C. Back in for DC. <laughs> the last couple years it's been a bit of a burden to take all the weapons and everything on the plane. So now we're hopefully going to take that burden off the team and then uh, take a cross country trip to DC. So we've got some really dedicated people on the team and I'm really proud of the work that everyone's put in. We all got together early and picked the members of this team as people that were going to dedicate themselves to get the job done. That's, that's what our team's always been about. The amount of hours that people have put in is, is, is amazing. I'm just absolutely humbled and proud to be with the people that I'm working with right now that have, have given what they've given to make this what it's going to be. We made it to DC. Uh, we just checked in at the Peace Officer Memorial. The weather right now is looks pretty good, but uh, tomorrow I know there's some uh, scattered showers. Monday, I believe we have 90% chance of showering thunderstorms, so that's gonna affect our practices a lot. Um, our competition's on Tuesday, and we need to fit in a couple practices from now to then. So hopefully, hopefully the weather cooperates. We got, we got to pick it up, pick up the rifle and get into that spot and let's, let's work it out. We got it, the first one was on point. There's a reason why we're here this year, uh, along with every other year that we're here, but this year, more so than any other. We're here for Jeremiah, right? I'm gonna give you guys my backstory. I was not on the honor guard when Jeremiah was killed. When he passed away, 
and the honor guard paid honors to him. That's when I made the decision to be on the honor guard. Obviously, that was six years ago, and now this routine is all dedicated to him, to his family. Caden is old enough to understand now. He's going to be here. I, I know everybody's given their all, but we need to we need to do our best in the next couple days. We're here at the Arlington Cemetery the day before our competition. Ellie Sheriff's and LAPD Association invited our honor guard to come out and come to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier to do a wreath laying ceremony for Robert Cottle, who's an LAPD officer that was killed in Afghanistan in 2010 when he was serving with the United States Marine Corps. Uh, it just shows the unity between the associations, both sheriffs and police throughout California. As our team was walking through the Arlington National Cemetery, we were stopped by Leroy. He works at the cemetery, and two of the things he wanted to tell us was that, one, he prays for law enforcement every single night, and he kind of tell, told us his story about how he grew up. And then also he said that he's just overwhelmingly, he just supports and loves all the, all the things that we do, and he just knows that the tough job that we do keeping everybody safe. On behalf of my family, but more so directly from me. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for your sacrifices, your service, and the difference those things made to the quality of my life. Were it not for you and what you do, I could not have been here for 30 years doing what I did freely, profitably, but most of all, safely. And I want you to hear this directly from my heart. Each night before I go to sleep, I pray that every active police officer get home as safely to their families as they allow me to get to mine. Thank you for your time. Uh, right now we're here um, waiting for families. They are getting bus through from the host hotel and we're going to escort them through to their seats to the candlelight vigil where we'll all be participating and honoring those who have fallen. We all share in losing when those who defend our liberty lose their lives. And it is appropriate for us to share in remembering their goodness and their nobility, the excellence of their spirit in defending others. But we must do more than mourn those who are lost. We must decide that we would end the losing that we would cease the tragic circumstances that result in the losing. I submit to you that we can never truly honor the fallen unless we stop the falling. I would invite each of you to become an ambassador to your community, to the individuals with whom you live, to be a part of a group of people that makes a decision that America will stop the falling that we will no longer tolerate those who defend our liberties becoming targets. So here we are. Uh, next hour and a half or so, we'll be out there in front of the Capitol, right by the reflecting pool. We've been training the last several months to get this done, so it's game day. So I'm uh, super excited. We had some breakfast this morning, loaded everything up, and I think we are ready to rock and roll and walk this thing out and head down there and knock it out of the park. The last five months of training is coming down to this next half hour, we're going to get out there and uh, pretty much do our best for our team, our department, and uh, all of our members. Oh, look, it's
We honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Every day, law enforcement officers protect those who are unable to protect themselves. Today, we honor Jeremiah Allen McKay, our department's first honor guard bagpiper, whose name was forever inscribed in the Peace Officer Memorial five years ago. We honor his bravery, and his legacy will live on in our hearts forever. Please join us in honoring Jeremiah and his family. To all of the families of our fallen officers, our whole country is praying for you, embracing you, and pledging to you that we will never, ever leave your side. Your loved ones were extraordinary and selfless Americans who gave everything they had in defense of our communities, our children, and our nation. These brave heroes, did not put on the uniform for praise or for glory. They wore the badge because it was their duty, their calling, their noble purpose to serve, protect, like nobody has ever done it before. They embodied our highest ideals and greatest aspirations. They were the very best of us. Seeing where we were from the first day we got together until being out here and, and presenting the flag to, to Lynette was just, it's, it's amazing. It's actually a little overwhelming. Yeah, it means everything to me uh, to be able to come out here and, uh, to pay honor to Jeremiah McKay and his family. This year is incredibly important to me because uh, so that we can honor Jeremiah since he was the one that actually got me started playing the bagpipes. It's my way of helping to pay back for what he did. It was just so amazing to watch them perform. They, they've practiced so long and they've worked so hard on it. It just means so much to me that he's not forgotten and that everybody still just makes him live on through them and through us. In honor of the fallen, we pledge to always support their brothers and sisters in blue. We stand firmly, strongly, and proudly with the incredible men and women of law enforcement. wanted to be as far as the judges, we know that we did great because what we did was for Jeremiah. And Lynette was out there. She was really grateful on how we honored Jeremiah and her family. It's a somber moment, um, but at the same time, it's very honoring to come out and to be able to do this for not only our deputies, but all the uh, fallen officers throughout the nation.
There's so many different emotions when it comes to being at National Police Week. There's just, just sorrow and just immense pride that it was just so nice for, just so thank you so much for allowing us to be able to go out there and support our department, to represent the department and especially the families of the fallen out there. It really meant a lot to us. So thank you.